you went to Africa recently. Yeah, yeah. What was that trip for? Uh, Lusaka, Zambia. Uh, had the opportunity to, to donate two wells, raise the money for the third, and wanted to go actually see the work and see the benefits uh, of having water and, and everything that comes with it. We wanted to go where the greatest need was. To hear some of the triumphs, I think that was, for me, the, the, the most gratifying thing uh, of being there. Hearing Susan and how she would have to walk, you know, sometimes hours to go and fetch water, you know, two and three times a day. Uh, but being able to go there and spend time and understand that particular perspective of life really sets the stage for what's coming, you know, in this particular season and just puts the mind in a much better place. We're realizing that this hardship and what I saw in Lusaka Zambia are completely different. You're setting yourself up for a really good future post football. What, what do you want to do after? you get done playing and not trying to retire no, no, you today no, or anytime at all, soon, not at all. but I know you think about it. I do. The thing is, is I'm, it's all about laying the foundation. I want to lay the foundation for what is possible. I stay in two lanes. It's ending hunger both domestically and worldwide, and it's being able to provide access to science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. That is the philanthropic verticals. When you signed your contract, you brought your son, you brought your family there, you're teaching them a little bit about business in that yes, moment, right? Yes, I'm everybody was Everybody was dressed at night. Putting, putting, putting them in the boardroom, showing them how to act in the boardroom, how to sit in the boardroom, how to you know sign a contract, <laughs> how you interact with either you know your employer, your boss, your peer, what have you. It was did, a teaching moment as well. Did they learn? They did. Did they do good? They did. My youngest was a little, she, she was, you know, she was a four-year-old in a so, boardroom, you know. So we got some work to do with her, but we, we'll get it right. I think when you signed your contract, Kelvin, many fans were kind of surprised a little bit, you yeah. know, when you, when you say some things about the quarterback. Yeah. He just lacks the leadership. He's put together. I didn't say he lacks the leadership. I just think he needs to grow up a little bit. Yeah. Um, and I think if he has the ability and the willingness to grow up, he's going to be just fine. What's the lesson there, that why that could still work? I respect him and he respects me. You know, I don't think that uh, we get into this thing that you can't say anything about anybody and there's some consequential consequence that's, that, that comes with what you say. It's been able to be honest and be direct um, and be able to hold each other accountable. You know, that is something that's being preached right now. I will want somebody to hold me accountable. Um, there's an opportunity uh, for him to lead this franchise and I'm excited to be a part. But there's some things that, you know, as a team, we need to do better. As an organization, we need to do better. And as a franchise quarterback that I think he's tasked with being able to do better. Have you had that conversation with him yet? And, and if so, are you look, if not, are you looking forward looking to it? Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. I'm a grown man. This is a grown man's game. <laughs> uh, we have to have grown man conversations. And I'm looking forward to having that conversation when it, when it needs to be had. How do you guys turn the page from what happened last year? If you look at what, what Monty brings to the table, he's, he's changing the culture. Uh, and changing the process and the infrastructure and how the organization works from the inside out. Not only doing that from a personnel standpoint, but doing that from just how he's constructing the building. I think that's putting the organization in a much different place than just, hey, we're just holding status quo and trying to get from year to year. Are they still charging you guys for meals? I don't know. I ain't been in the building. <laughs> I ain't been in the building. So, I, I, you know, when, I, when that came out, I'm like, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not in the I'm building not. to know. Jonathan Gannon said the other day that they've already addressed some things, yeah. that Michael is been very proactive in, in wanting to fix some things, asking questions about things. Yeah. Have you seen that where yeah. things in that survey are going to be addressed? Michael is competitive. You know, uh, Michael is not the type of person who's going to sit on his hands. If, he, if you go to him with like, hey, Michael, I think we need to do this and this, would he listen? Without question. But you have to be willing to go and have a grown man conversation and <laughs> yeah. sit down sure. and, and be able to communicate. The process is much different than it was last year. You have Monty, who's, you know, somebody that you can go to and have that conversation. Hey, these are some, some things that we, we would like to see changed, you know, within the building or within the locker room. Or he's taking initiative on himself to go and ask, what, what, are, what are some things that we need to get done that will make um, the environment more conducive to us, you know, playing better, to us being treated better, the whole nine. And I think, you know, this regime is, is, is qualified to be able to communicate at a very, very high level across the organization. Well, if you want to call it a rebuild, remold, I think it's a change in philosophy that's, that's needed and a change in philosophy that's going to be taking place. And I think that there are some things that are being done to put the pieces in place for us to be successful long term.